So greetings, I wanted to show you um, a technology I developed of combining K actors with Apex destructible meshes. This is my game editor that I've created. All of this is in game. Uh, half of what I've done is make an editor and the other half is actually make an interesting game to play. So this is the editor and you can rotate things and um, all that sort of thing. So the I, this is a K actor that can turn into a destructible apex. So I'm going to have them just create a bunch this way, and then I'll move this one over here and over here um, just for fun. So this is in the editor. Now I'm going to go in game by pressing F10. You see how they all spawn. And uh, the interesting thing about them is they can be destroyed. <laughs> So this is what it looks like, <laughs> and then uh, you can instantly uh, start and restart my maps uh, by pressing F10, so let's see this again. <laughs> and then you can shoot them, it's really quite entertaining. Oh look, it bounced off the loop. So these are destructible K actors, and uh, I prepared some maps for you. This is my in-game file system where I can load my various levels. So I'll start with D1. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to make D1 the finale. <laughs> we'll start with D2. So I, cu I can customize the um, special post-processing effects for each map. So here's some nice red lighting. <laughs> I missed that one. <laughs> I don't have the fastest computer in the universe, so the fact that this runs relatively well with this many explosion things going off, um, it's just because NVIDIA is very nice and uh, I tried to code it the best I could. So this, I have a character ball here so I can bounce against them and ride them like this, which is pretty entertaining. <laughs> or I can blow them up. <laughs> So if you're not familiar with why this is very entertaining, normally when you have an NVIDIA destructible, like these things that blow up, they, they don't just sort of fly around like that, and you can't really shoot them in the air and do that. That's a, it's a technology combination that I'm doing, uh, K-Actors and uh, NVIDIA Apex. And uh, the code to do this isn't that complicated. Most of what's hard about this is actually making the editor so you can constantly load and reload without having to restart the game. This is, uh... <laughs> so these are destructible K-actors. <laughs> so yeah, you can actually uh, cause slowdown if you do stuff like that, but it's all very nice. So, let's look at the next one. Again, I've stayed in game the whole time, and this is all unedited footage. I haven't edited any of this. The speed of loading and everything, that's all real time. That's my game engine that I've spent months coding. Whee! <laughs> let's see that again. So let's, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of wondering if this ball can do anything to this thing. <laughs> I don't think so. It has too much mass. Pew! <laughs> <laughs> one more time, then we'll go to the last one. Let's hit it in the middle. Hey, so notice how some of the the blocks have different uh, textures on the inside. Uh, using the code I'll be providing you with, you can actually do that too, where the apex have different inner and outer materials. It's not that hard to do. One more time, because it's too entertaining. Uh. <laughs> Destructible K actors! Whee! Oh, whoa, that was cool. Whee! Okay, on to the main event where I have just more stuff going on. So, this is what it looks like in the editor. Notice how they're all spaced out. I have them all wake up on level start. That's not that hard to code. So, they all wake up immediately. And, uh, look. Notice the post, -process post processing lighting is different in this map. <laughs> and you can have really wild looking. Structurals. <laughs> that actually is a material I made. I'm quite happy with that. Whee! <laughs> so notice how the post-processing effects are different. 
Uh, the way you edit those processing effects is I made an in-game editor where you can control things like bloom, depth of field, tone, all that can be controlled in the editor. Um, I like those glowy ones a lot. <laughs> so uh, making different shapes rather than just a cube all the time is really not that hard. I just finished this technology uh, today. It took me about a day to complete it, the uh, Apex plus uh, K actor. Um, so I haven't actually made all the other destructible assets, but it's not that hard. Making additional shapes is easy. Making the original code was hard. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Whee! So I don't know about you, but I want to see what happens if I just shoot as fast as I can. <laughs> and I can, there's a first person camera in this game. <laughs> so where do you want to start? Let's start here. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> wow, my computer's holding up pretty well. It's when they're all on the ground and they're just rebounding off each other that it slows down a little. <laughs> Actually, I think I can use my K actor to knock this thing over. K actor is, uh, means it has physics, basically. Ah, oh, I want to knock it over. Can I do it? I think. Yeah. I don't think I can. I can shoot it though, <laughs> which is the point of this video. <laughs> so this is the technology I developed. Um, the code is very easy. I provide you with the basic structure you can use to do the same, and uh, pretty soon we'll see lots of games doing this. Hopefully, um, it's uh, quite entertaining. <laughs> Whee! Oops, I missed. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. I wanted to show you that I actually can knock these things over with my little ball. Let's see, let's find a nice unsuspecting cube. So you see I almost knocked it over. It seems to be preoccupied with something. I guess they're preoccupied with each other. I guess if I was a cube, I wouldn't find a sphere that interesting. But hey, maybe it's different. It's good to be. Look at look at how I'm sort of <laughs> influencing it rather heavily. <laughs> so so it's so they're fully manipulable K actors that when you shoot them or you want to activate them, they explode into pieces. <laughs> okay, one more time, massive all out everything. This. <laughs> <laughs> Notice how some of them have a different outer and inner material. <laughs> it's quite entertaining. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, again, this is just one aspect of my editor, but it's the most recent technology I added. Hope you enjoyed it. I can't resist. One more time. <laughs> it's just quite entertaining. Whee! <laughs> So, so that's that. I feel like there's one more thing I want to show you. Oh, yeah, I, I'll put this box here so I can bounce up and knock these things over. Do you think I can do it? I want to have enough momentum. I'm going to use a little cheat. I'm going to launch myself at them. <laughs> I did it! Well, I significantly influenced it. I don't think I had quite the actual absolute impact I wanted, but I'm trying to make this thing into a cannonball. <laughs> Knock over it, please. Knock over it. <laughs> so there you have it. Enjoy. <laughs>